All right, hey guys, welcome to the mousetrap car uh, help video for the coronavirus outbreak distance learning. Um, this one is uh, got a couple things that you got to fix. I'm going to do the same thing I did with gliders, which was show you how to basically get into spec. Um, and then I'm going to show you an example that you can copy and, and adjust however you want in order to compete in the competition. All right, so let's start with um, logging in. Go to engineering. And let's first check our outputs. We should see that there's two things out of spec. We have to fix our rear axle position and the total design cost is set at $9.99 and we are right now sitting at $11.24 so we got to bring that cost down um, okay first let's do the rear axle position so engineering let's bring up all of our uh, eyeballs here so that we can see the car rear axle position it was set at 25 we need to get that set to 20 at least so let's hit 20 apply check outputs make sure that that was taken care of and it was and the total design cost if we go back to engineering and we look at costs we should be able to see our problem our cost 67 percent of our cost is somewhere in our rear axle assembly and I'm going to assume that that would probably be the type of wheels that we're using. So I would suggest using the rear racers. Those are the ones that you have in class. Um, obviously, we're not in class, but those are the ones that we build with because they're cheaper. Um, if you hit apply, you'll notice the cost go down significantly. And now our main cost is our mouse trap assembly. But let's see if we're in spec and let's see if that was if that took care of that at least. Okay, so it took care of the cost. Now we have a problem with did the car cross the finish line? Well, the reason that it was crossing before is because of the type of wheels um, they had friction on the wheels. So if we pull back that, uh, this was the one that was originally on there. You can see it has like this rubber on there. And that's going to help it um, move past the starting line and then cross the finish line. So in order to, like these um, these rear racers, they're just made out of plastic. And so if you were to set this and let it go, it's just going to spin out and the back wheels are going to spin and it's not going to move anywhere. So in order to fix that, you're going to click this rubber band piece right here, hit apply, and you'll see some rubber bands pop down there. You can change the color of them. I don't know why they're red, but... Um, you can do whatever you want with the colors, but basically this should now put us past, maybe past the finish line. We might have to fix a few more things, but let's go check. Okay, so it's still not crossing the finish line. So in this case, let's just pull the push through the, the notes that I have sitting next to me, and uh, we'll build this car together, and then you can um, take it to competition and do more adjustments as needed. Um, so we're, we're technically we're still not done. So we got to Let's just start with the chassis. Um, I'm actually gonna push done on all of these I don't like to see too many things at once. So let's go to chassis We need to make sure that we're set at rally and the rail length that I have set for my example is 280 millimeters so 280 hit apply and you can keep checking back uh, to see if that, you know, like for example, that one fix might have thrown you into spec, into spec. No, it still has not crossed the finish line, so we need to keep on engineering. Push done there. We're going to move to front axle assembly. Okay. These are the types of axles. We know that steel is pretty heavy. Aluminum, you guys should know, if you think about a soda can, it's pretty light. Um, I'm just going to roll with aluminum because that's what I have in my notes. Um, Delrin is also good and brass. I mean, those are good too. So if you want to keep on building yours to make it better and better, then, you know, by all means, check those out. But for this, we're just doing aluminum. Bearing, I have mine set as brass, bush, brass bushing. Uh, and there's some other, oh no, I have mine premium, premium bushing. And then I do have the front racers there. 
and I do not have a rubber band. Okay, the axle length that I have set is 60. My wheelbase I have set to 240. I have it centered and wheel colors, you can do whatever you want there. I hit apply, you should see if you check out this front axle, you'll notice uh, it'll make a few adjustments. Okay, so now it fits better on our frame. Okay. Um, push done. You can check if you want to see if you're in spec by just doing that. We are still not crossing the finish line, so let's keep on engineering. If we go to rear axle assembly, we're going to be focusing on these guys back here. Um, steel, again, it's pretty heavy. I'm going to hit aluminum. I'm going to do premium bushing. I'm going to do my rear racers. Don't do a spool. Definitely have your rubber band. My axle length back here is probably the same as the front. Um, actually, I have that set at 80. The others, the other, the front I had set at 60. Um, position from rear, I just kept that at 20. Make sure this is centered, vertical position centered. Um, wheel, you know, you can just color it however you want. Hit apply. You should notice that change. And uh, there, it's looking good. Um, I, I'm uh, thinking that the mousetrap assembly is where, why we're not crossing the finish line, but you can check again and nope, it's not. So we'll go back to engineering, hit done on this. Um, okay, so mousetrap assembly, lever arm. Okay, that's this uh, metal piece right here. Um, we're gonna set this one to, where do I have it? 211. 0.4, that's weird. Okay, 211.4. Uh, the angle is zero, my offset is zero, and it's centered. Hit apply. And we should definitely be in spec now. If not, that is weird. Okay, we are not in spec. So we need to figure out what it is that we are not in spec. Let's. Hmm. I'm gonna enter the competition to see what is going on with this, so. Okay, well my car is crossing the finish line, so. I mean, obviously we just watched it cross the finish line, so that's kind of stupid. All right, so I figured it out. I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened, but I was able to, I put, um, rubber bands on the front and somehow that got me into spec both of them crossed the finish line so i don't know what the deal is with that um so go ahead and throw if you go back to engineering just throw front axle it was this one just put the rubber bands on hit apply and done make sure to save into you know you have to save into competition and then uh, it should be good so the problem was the rubber bands on the front um I don't know why when I crossed the finish line before it told me that I didn't. That's weird. But in order to get this into spec and get it all done, all you got to do is, um, you know, do everything that we did. But also the last thing, just add the rubber band to the front and you'll be good. All right. So hopefully that helps. We'll see you for the next one.